Come on, do it. What the hell? I got an idea. I bet you stay here. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching some more Supernatural Rap Season 7 episode. Oh, I was on the wrong episode. I was on a Season 8 episode 11. Oh, interesting. We're at Season 7 episode 11 and this one is titled Adventures in Babysitting. We babysitting? <laughs> like, what? Interesting title after... Bobby's death but you know maybe this one will be funny try to make us forget about the last episode which was beautiful by the way I absolutely loved it but yeah interesting title so let's just get into it thank you sure you've been here a couple nights in a row now what can I say the ambiance. <laughs> Get you anything else? No, thanks. Hunter? Hey there, you lost? What? No, I'm fine. No, you're not. I slip a little special sauce into your coffee while you're washing the skirt. You do know we're venomous, right? Looks like I didn't dose you quite hard enough. That's okay. There's more where that came from. That's for the crappy tip. Okay. What were they again? Like, what was that creature? Oh, weak one. Guys! Hmm. Hey, you know, um, I wonder if, if we, I mean, should we be telling people? I mean, people you knew? How long ago did I get front these numbers? It's been a few weeks, right? Do you want to call Bobby's people or not? What, why, is, why is that our job? Because who else is going to do it? I'm not calling anybody. If you want to, you go right ahead. Is that his phone? Hello? Is Bobby Singer there? Uh, no, he's... Uh, it, it, it's not. I'm a friend of his. The guy's daughter the one that got attacked he seemed Who's like it? he was a hunter just some kid you know i have a caller id maybe, maybe we should go find her we, we can check on her what about frank well then i think we should go find this girl first sam frank's been working on the numbers that bobby spent his last breath on and you want to back burn her that fine you go check out girl scout i'll find frank fine but you know what on one condition if frank is just spinning his wheels then you bail out on crazy and come meet me. And thanks for drinking my entire beer. I didn't touch your beer. Mine's right there. You probably drank it without noticing. Right. He just picked it up. Or maybe he really drank it without noticing it. Hi. Um, I'm Sam. You sounded like you needed help, and I was in the area. Look, um... Chrissy. Chrissy, I get it. You don't let strangers in. But if your dad said you could trust Bobby, then you can trust me, too. Just so you know, 911 is on speed dial. One button. Yeah, sure, no taken. Sometimes on the road, crap happens. So I'll help you track him down. Really? Of course. Did he happen to say where he was going? He said he had a couple leads near Dodge City. And does he have a, a desk or something where he keeps his stuff? Trying to figure out what he was hunting or something. Chrissy, hey, listen, so I, I think I have an idea where to start. Here's a number, in case you don't hear from me in the next couple days. Don't worry. I promise I'll check in. 
and say that. That's what my dad said. They were just like her when they were growing up, but does she know that he's a hunter? Because he seemed to be hiding his stuff. This can't be good. Oh, hey. Well, we're amongst friends here. Okay, acquaintances. That's just what a Leviathan would say. Oh. Oh, sure. You're not a Leviathan. Dick Roman's not a Leviathan. Gwyneth Paltrow is not a Leviathan. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> Look, you know what? <laughs> See? Red blooded American. This is why you didn't call me back. Hey, cut me some slack. You called me like four days ago. I called you four weeks ago, Frank. What? No. Really? Days, weeks. Quit busting my chops. Are you kidding me? You cool your heels, Buster Brown. Frank, I paid you 15 grand for this. Yeah, I get that. No, you don't get that. Bobby died for those numbers. Like this, my little lamb, is coordinates. Oh. To you where? Sure? To what? A field in Wisconsin. He gave you coordinates to a parcel recently purchased by Wellman Inc. A subsidiary of Richard Roman Enterprises. Gotcha. What's going on with the girl? I don't think she even knows her dad's in the life. So far, I got three missing truckers and one blood-free okay. body. Good times. All right, we'll keep you posted. Got the equipment arranged. Dean is pretty, pretty cold with Sam. Scoot. I love a mystery. I get up in that cherry picker and act like you're fixing something. I don't know how to drive that thing. You think I do? Well, why do I gotta be the sap? That this one says manager, that one says technician. Sometime this month. Dean. Ah. I like that outfit on him. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's gonna be a little difficult to set up surveillance if there's uh, surveillance everywhere. Right. So we need to tap into theirs instead. Oh. Smart no option. Excuse me. Your manager said that you might be able to help me. You ever see this man? I think he may have gone to talk to that girl out there. Something's happening around here. I'm afraid I'll be next. Tell me what you saw. I don't know what I saw. They're good. Like, they keep taking them down. Here's my advice you didn't ask for. Quit. What? You want to keep going? I want Dick Roman on a spit. But you're gonna drive yourself into the ground first. Good plan. It's not even an option. I'm gonna walk out of my brother. Okay, then fine. Do what I did. <laughs> what, go native? Stock up on sea rations? Yeah. No, cupcake. What I did when I was 26 and came home to find my wife and two kids gutted on the floor. Make yourself smile because you're alive and that's your job. And do it again the next week. So fake it. I call it being professional. Do it right. With a smile. Or don't do it. Hmm. That's sad. Sam told me to call if I didn't hear anything back from him. Best case scenario, we go save Sam and we save the dad at the same time. She took it down? Where is it? You mean everything about the job my dad was working? Sam said you didn't know. Sam seemed competent. So I figured, fine, I'll do what my dad always tells me to. Be a regular kid, don't say anything, stay out of the line of fire. Hey, I've had a long, 
long week. All right, I get it. You're a tough kid. Sam left, and he didn't come back. I give you the info, you leave, you don't come back. I'm coming back. I'm coming with you. No. No, hell no. I'm coming. Or you're not going. It's a little intense. Ow. Mm -hmm. hand it over. One thing doesn't make sense. My dad's a pretty great hunter. And your brother's the size of a car, so... So how does this thing get them both? Your brother's the size of a car. <laughs> Sam went to college. I thought you said your dad was a hunter. He was. We were. Sam quit, went to college. Yep. You could too, you know. Go to college. Oh, you think you're a good actress. You're not. What are you talking about? Well, I hate to break it to you. But it's all over your face. You're scared. Quit treating me like I'm some girl. I've been prepping for this my entire life. Training's one thing. Doing a whole nother beast. Wow, you really scared me straight. Thanks, Dean. <laughs> All right. What century is this? No one fist bumps anymore. Come on, give it up. Good work. I thought he was checking his watch. You're a dweeb. Come on, do it. <laughs> what the hell? I got an idea. I bet you stay here. I watched my mom get torn to shreds. Let me go in there and kill them. He can understand revenge. No. Sorry. <laughs> Such a hypocrite. How come you get to do it and I don't? Because I'm the grown up. Good thing we picked up a new one. This one's about tapped out. You want to finish them together? Sure, I'd love to. <laughs> Not so fast. Kick her. Come on, kick. Or that. Dad, hold on, I got you. Uh, Bro. Huh? Yeah, but your dad's dead now. Isn't he? You know, I got into this for a reason. I know. Your family. That's the same reason you should get out now. I can't. You ever know anyone who left alive? No. They all get killed first. Thanks for saying bye, asshat. Oh, what? Now you're sentimental? No. Just wanted to tell you that you're kind of amusing for an old man. The disrespect. Them cuffs anyway. I'm retiring. One and done. It's fine. Really? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Who knows? Maybe I'll go to Stanford like Sam. We're still lame. Yeah, we are. Sure, you're gonna ask? I'm fine. Fine. You're right. We should just work, right? So I'm guessing that ending is Dean kind of, you know, like letting go of the obsession, you know, with the numbers and everything and the coordinates. So they're going to keep working like they used to, you know, taking cases because that's what Sam's been doing this episode. You know, he heard about something and he he went over there and he tried to make things better, which... He did, like he helped. And then Dean came after him and he, you know, they each were doing something this episode. And Dean, um, what I wrote down is that he was 
really cold with Sam. Also, he was very sleep deprived and it's like he, he was being like consumed by the vengeance that he's, you know, feeling and he wants to do it so bad and he wants to kill him. But it's like if you get too obsessed by that and then, you know, I feel like you're going to make mistakes. It's just like you have to take your time and... Make sure that you can strike at the right time and then, you know, get your revenge. Which I'm confident that he will be getting. Like, we can't let that guy live. And yes, Sam... Sam, it's it's crazy to me because when I, I saw, like, the way Dean was talking to Sam, when Sam was like, well, this little girl just called, like, I need to go make sure that she's alright. Dean seemed kind of, like, annoyed and just like, okay, yeah, whatever. Um, mostly because, you know, he's sleep deprived, he's obsessing over, like, the numbers and everything. But in my head, I was like, don't, don't be annoyed. Like, this is Sam. He fought for a long time to get Sam to be Sam again and to care just, like, the same way Sam with a soul cares. Like, you know, you would rather have Sam like this being, like, overly... Um, sensitive and just like wanting to help then Sam that doesn't care like that's that's our Sam don't get annoyed at that you know still there's so much going on in Dean's mind and he ha he was he he slept for a long time I don't know if that guy was lying when he said 36 hours because I don't know that seemed like a long time but if he could get some some sleep and just feel a little bit better and less on edge then I'm glad and to to see that little girl that was she was pretty badass like she knew what she was doing and at first they thought that she wasn't aware of what her dad was doing but she was and uh, she almost screwed it up for everyone but at the end she you know she saved them so that's pretty cool and Dean could understand her you know wanting to get revenge and you know, she thought that they killed her dad, so she was like, let me kill them at least, like, let me do this. And that's exactly how Dean feels. He wants to kill Dick so bad, and I want him to. But yeah, there's still a lot of uh, healing for them, and they're going to keep working, and maybe at some point, you know, time heals, but it's still, like, it's going to be hard for them especially since you know they're still it's he died because of like the hunter's life and the threat that killed Bobby is still out there so how can you possibly not be at peace but how can you possibly come to terms with the fact that oh yeah okay so I have to like I have to grieve him like no I want to avenge him you know so that I understand but I just don't want him to uh, lose himself in the process you know it's really good i'm excited for next episode it's gonna be amazing and uh i think this is posted on the 31st so happy new year everyone and uh thank you so much for being with me this year and i hope you have an amazing 2023 the year 2023 because you deserve it you really do our season 7 episode 11 adventures in babysitting Really good. I'll see you guys for the next episode and thank you so much for watching.